All right, so we're going to look over quiz five. Okay, now I'm looking at the uh, quiz, uh, well, a copy of the quiz right now, not the same one, but there are 15 questions. So, so um, I'm going to kind of give you guys questions very similar to what you're going to see on your actual quiz. Um, if you have any questions on them as we do them, then just let me know. Okay, so here we go. The very first question, or something like the first question that you're going to get, is find the slope intercept form, or they're going to say write the slope intercept form uh, of the line. Okay, and I'll give you an example of one of these things. So let's say uh, they give you 3x minus 5 plus 2y equals to 0. Let's say this is what they gave you, okay? Now you have two questions like this, just so you know, okay? So if you want, I'll put like a little, a little 2 right here just to let you know how many questions of these types you're going to see, okay? So you have two questions like that. Now, if you guys remember yesterday, I told you anytime they mention the term slope intercept form, you're going to be solving for y. Okay, so let me just rewrite the question real quick. Now, in order to solve for y, you got to get that 3x out of there. You got to get the minus 5 out of there. So let's start with the, the variable first, that 3x. Let's throw that over to the other side. So let's subtract 3x on both sides. All right, so what I'm left with is a negative 5 plus 2y equals negative 3x. What do I move next? The 5, thank you. So let's add 5 to both sides, plus 5, plus 5. Now, remember, I can't add negative 3x and a 5, so I'm just going to put negative 3x plus 5. What's my last step here? Divide by 2, thank you. So divide by 2, everything gets divided by 2. And if I get fractions, who cares? Okay, just kind of format it nicely like this. And you're done, okay? That's going to be the answer to the problem. Okay, so y equals to negative 3 halves x plus 5 over 2, right? 5 halves. And that's it. So you're going to have two questions like this. These are not extremely terrible. They're just uh, moving. You're moving stuff around. That's all. Okay? Solving for y. So remember, write a little hint for yourself. Slope intercept form for means solve for y, right? Like, make sure you know what you're going to be doing. So there are two questions like that. Now, there's also two questions of the following type. So let me write that down. Number two, write the slope intercept form. Slope intercept form given the slope and y intercept. So, given the slope and y intercept, write the slope intercept form. So, they're going to give you a question that looks like this. Let me put a little two right here on this side because there are two of these questions as well. But they're going to give you a problem that says like uh, slope is 3 over 2, y intercept is let's say negative 7. Okay. Now remember, we're going to rewrite this uh, using letters. So M is 3 over 2, and B is negative 7. So I'm just going to write my formula out really quick. Y equals MX plus B. And I'm just going to plug in M and B, and then I'm done. So M is 3 halves, 
b is minus 7. And this problem is done. Okay, so that's there's two questions like that on your quiz. So, so far, we're at four questions total, right? Two of the first type, two of the second type. Any questions so far, guys, for any of these two? Hopefully it's not too bad. So here we go. Question number three. Now this one is a picture, okay? This one is a picture. So question three, write the slope intercept form of the line. It's going to be a picture, so let me let me draw this out here. I'll try not to make it too complicated of a picture. I'm making this a 3 by 3, okay? 3 up, 3 down, 3 left, 3 right. So here's the hard part. So let's see if I can do this. Ah, hold on a second. I thought I had it, but I messed up. There we go. So I'll give you a little bit of time just to try to, to draw that out. Now there are two of these, by the way. So I'm going to put a little green two over here, just so you know. So that's six. Remember, there's 15 questions, so we're almost halfway there. So the way you do slope-intercept form with a picture is, well, you kind of write out your equation. And you got to figure out the missing pieces, right? What is your slope? What is your intercept? Now, the easy part is the intercept. Where does this graph cross the y-axis? So it'll be right here. What number is that? Anybody know? What's the number for the y-axis right there? I'm trying to listen. Two. Two, thank you. So, all right. Now, to find slope, you just got to find another point, okay? So, what if I choose, like, this point right here? And I'm going to count down and to the right. If I count down... My slope should be negative, right? So let me put negative and a fraction. How many times do I have to go down from that point on the left to go to the one on the right? What? Two times. Two times. Yeah, it's sometimes kind of hard just based on what you see. And then how many times over? Three, right? So this will be a negative two-thirds. So now that I know m and b, I'm just going to plug it into the formula. y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 2. And that's my answer.
So again, you have two of those. So maybe the graph you get, there might be one going downhill, there might be one going uphill as well. So you have a negative slope, positive slope. They usually make sure that they have one of each, but sometimes you get two that are going down, two that are going up. Put a stay and then go after, that's fine too. All right, so, um, all right, let's see. Where was that? All right, so question number four. Question number four. Um, let me put that right here. Now, these are the ones that are a little bit tougher, okay? Um, this is one, and th there's going to be two of these. It's going to say write the slope-intercept form. Uh, of a line given a slope and a point. There's going to be two of these. Okay, so you're going to write the slope-intercept form of a line given a point and a slope. So here you go. They're going to give you, it's going to say through, which means the point, the line goes through a specific point. So let's say it's a three, four. And the slope let's say it's a two thirds. Okay. Now remember, we need a slope and a y-intercept. I don't have a y-intercept. They gave me a point though, okay? So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna start off with your equation, y equals mx plus b, and you're gonna plug in what you know. So I know my slope, and I know my point x, y, right? x is three, y is four. So I'm gonna plug that in. Four equals two-thirds uh, two times three, plus b, I'm going to leave a little note here, I used m equal to two-thirds, and xy equal to three-four. Okay, so I use the slope and the point. That's why I plug stuff in. So uh, two-thirds times three, that's equal to two, because this will cancel here. So you get four equals two plus b. So subtract by two, we get b equal to two. Notice I have m equal to two-thirds and b equal to two. I have my two pieces that I need, my slope, and my y-intercept, so let's just plug it in now. So y equals 2 thirds x plus 2. And that's my answer to this problem. Now these are a little tougher, okay? Remember that we did these uh, yesterday. These are a little tougher, but they're not impossible to do. It just uh, requires a little bit more patience and a little more um, kind of working around the problem. I think after this next example, I think the problems get a little bit easier. I'm just kind of checking really quick. Yeah. All right, so uh, here we go. So question number five. Now, question number five, there's only one of these, okay? Write the slope-intercept form So notice it's very important that you know the slope-intercept form because basically everything we've done so far says write the slope-intercept form um, Given two points Notice they're not giving me 
a slope. They're not giving me an intercept. They're just giving me two points. Okay, so let's let's uh, try this here. Negative two, zero, and uh, let's try one, four. Uh, hold on, let me see if that. No, let's try one six. I think that'll be better. I'm not trying to make the the practice problem like insanely difficult with fractions. So, um, I just kind of wanted to pick something that should make sense, which I think this one does. All right. So, if I need to write this formula out, I need a slope. And I need an intercept. Okay? I need those two pieces. I can find slope if you give me two points. That's possible. Okay? So let me do that. I'm going to call this x sub 1, y sub 1, and x sub 2, y sub 2. And let me put my formula here. This is my slope formula. And I just get to plug in my number. So what's my uh, y sub 2 according to the information I have up there? 6. And what's my y sub 1? 0. Thank you. What's x sub 2? Anybody else out there? 1. Thank you. Minus x sub 1. Negative 2. Now, again, notice how I put that negative number in a parenthesis just to make sure I don't mess up. Now, the top part is a 6. The bottom part, minus a negative 2, that really means plus 2, right? So 1 plus 2, that's 3. So my slope is a 2. Notice I'm halfway done with this problem. Okay? I just got to um, find my B value. How do I find the B value? Just like I did in question number four, right? Question number four, I had a slope and a point. So I just plugged it into my formula. So let's do that again. Let me change the color just to show you that we did something different here. So I'm going to plug it into Y equals MX plus B. Uh, I pick any one of those points. I'm going to pick the point negative 2, 0. Remember I told you if they have a 0, use it. So 0 equals 2 times negative 2 plus B. Remember, I used M equal to 2 and XY equal to negative 2, 0. That's just a little hint for you guys to know what I did. So 0 equals negative 4 plus b. So if I add 4 to both sides, I get 4 equals to b. So there's my answer, 4, 2 and 4, right? So let's go ahead and write out my solution. y equals mx plus b. So y equals 2x plus 4. That's my answer. And I'm done. Again, this one is like the hardest question you're going to see on the test. Something like this. Okay, and there's only one of them. So hopefully that will kind of uh, make you feel a little better knowing there's only one of these types. But, I mean, you still got to know how to do it, right? You want to make sure you get it right. So... Any questions on this one? Again, I know these things can be a little, a little difficult at times to kind of do, but it just, it just requires you to kind of have a game plan, right? Like notice, um, I wrote out my equation. I wrote M and B because I knew those were my objectives. I have to get my M. I have to get my B. So how do I find slope? Well, I use the slope formula, right? So once I got that answer, I said, okay, now how do I find the intercept, right? I, I, I draw myself a map as to what I need so that I know where I have to get to, okay? It's never good for you just to say, well, what do I do? 
right? Like you want to have a plan. So, all right. And it appears to me like the last problem I'm going to do with you guys, number six, um, they're going to give you an equation and they're going to want you to draw it. Okay. I'm just looking really quick. But yeah. So they're going to give you an equation and they're just going to want you to draw it. So here we go. It's going to say sketch the graph. of the line and they'll just give you uh, let's say 2x minus 3y equals to we'll say 6 now if I gotta sketch the graph I wanna put in slope intercept form okay so if I want to put in slope-intercept form, I have to solve for y. So let's do that. Let's subtract 2x. So let me first rewrite this really quick just so I can cross things out and stuff. Let's subtract 2x. So I get a negative 3y equals negative 2x plus 6. Okay, now to get y by itself, I'm going to divide everything by negative 3. So y is equal to 2 thirds x minus 2. Okay, so I'm going to draw the graph over here. Now you draw it as big as you'd like, but at least make it like a uh, like a three by three at least. I'm making mine a five by five just because it's easy for me to do it with the computer. But usually drawing three by threes would be okay. I apologize for that, guys. My phone's supposed to be on silent. I that's one of my uh, mess ups from a uh, lack of sleep there. Um, so, all right. Notice how your equation, the very last equation I have, has a slope of two thirds and a y intercept of negative two. Remember, when you graph, you begin at b, then you move based on m, right? You begin at b. So my b value is a negative two. So I'm going to go ahead and put a value right here, a point at negative 2. And then from that point, I have to move, right, based on M. Now, my M is positive. That means i got to go up 2 thirds, 2 and then over 3, 2 over 3. So go up twice and then over 3. That's right there. That's 2 over 3. And all I got to do now is just connect the dots. Now, of course, you guys are just going to have a multiple choice, but that's the way you're going to do that. Now, of those types of questions, there are 1, 2, 3 of these. Yeah, there's 3 of those. I'll put that right here. Okay, now there's two other questions missing, but the reason why I'm not going to do them with you guys, uh, well, I'll explain right now. But um, that's it basically for this review. Let me stop the video.